Let me tell you more about this lotion. 100% natural lotion and uh, it smells of coconut and I feel like there's some oil to it but uh, when I apply it it's not uh, greasy it's absorbed really well into my skin and I like that I like the absorption so right now my skin feels really soft and uh, it has a glassy sheen to it which I'm loving <sighs> smells divine and it's really thick so you can really use just a little of it. You know, the interesting part is that this is actually handmade um, and it's made to order. It also has um, shea butter, cucumber, aloe vera, lavender oil. I love that it's come in a glass jar. Uh, and of course, I can reuse it, so that's quite exciting for me. <laughs> Price, I think, is on the high side. That's a con. Um, it's 350 rupees for. 250 grams which is more expensive than other organic and natural brands like say Biotech uh, the other brands that I'm going to use plastic packaging so so you could actually think about that so run these promotions and promo deals on their Instagram handle so I will link it down below you could have a look there they also have lip healers body scrubs and face up tons and so on and it actually just unwrapped it it has no smell I mean at least I can't really sense a strong smell so which is great it's fragrance free okay it's got Himalayan pink salt and um, shea butter lavender three types of oils almond olive and castor and vitamin E it's supposed to get rid of toxins uh, which is because of the Himalayan salt. My read is that the soap would be good if you have sensitive skin because it's anti-inflammatory and of course it's 100% natural and it's very pretty. I'm here to update about the soap. It's been a week. It has these small grains that feels like it gently exfoliates my skin. The price of the soap is 200 rupees for 90 pounds. I think it is on the higher side, uh, but I also think it would make a good gift. It's packaged really well, it's natural, so you can gift it to anyone knowing that it's not going to harm them. And um, yes, oh, by the way, a fun fact, I don't really use soaps. I use soap powders or I use dry brushing. So it is very essential for me that if I use a soap, then it has to be um, really natural. So I hope this review was holistic and I hope it gives you a good insight of how this product is like. If there are any other features that I should have reviewed, just let me know. I'll try to improve as I go. And if you know of any other organic or natural brands who are doing really good and who are maybe small and could do with a little bit of exposure or some genuine review, do leave those names in the comments below.